What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a lot, guys. I mean a lot. We went through everything. You know, Meltfire, uh, Route 123, 121, 122, not, not, not in that specific order. And Well, we seem to have gone to Lily Cove a little earlier than expected. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't go to the Safari Zone, so if you guys are wondering about that... That will be for next week's episode. But in this episode right here, we are going to be going into our sixth gym battle. Now, the reason why we skipped ahead before this one is because I kind of wanted to get my Pokemon up to, you know, a very decent level. If you guys remember, two episodes ago, Raiden was just at a mere level 12. Now it is at level 37. Jacked up, ready to go. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, everybody else... Looks like it's been, it looks like they've been leveling up pretty well right there too. So the next change I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the experience share. And well, of course, we're going to be filled up with a lot of our, uh, our items right here. So let's see. What do we, okay, so we got, <laughs> we got three rare candies. Uh, who needs them? Mm, okay, so yeah, okay. Uh, so what's going to happen in this episode is we're going to be going up against the sixth gym leader who is a flying type gym leader. What needs to happen now is I'm going to actually sell some stuff because, well, we don't need them in our, in our pockets anymore. So we got two nuggets. That's pretty cool right there. We're going to save those zincs and HP ups because we might need them for later on. Uh, X attack. We need to just turn that over. Uh, we got a max revive. So we got quite a few items. And well, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Let's see how let's see what the potions are looking like. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we trained our Pokemon up to some pretty good levels, mainly because, well, yeah, it's, we kind of needed to. I wanted to. I don't know. Yeah, wanted to to train them up just uh, for this one battle right here because flying type Pokemon are are pretty strong, are pretty strong, but fast too. Not only that, but uh, this gym leader right here has a specific Pokemon that you kind of just need to keep your eye out for. Now, let's go ahead and use up those, uh, those, those, uh, whatchamacallit, these, uh, these vitamins right here. So we got the Zinc right here. We're going to give one to a Dukin. And HP up. Who needs more HP ups? And it looks like about, looks like everybody's about even. So let's go give this to a Dukin. Calcium. Obviously, to this guy, special attack's gonna be working. Carbos, let's give it to Hadouken since, you know, he's very slow. And, well, I think we got everything else right here. So, let's go back to trying to switch out this uh, item right here. So, let's go ahead and take away his Quick Claw and grab ourselves. Actually, hold on just a sec. Yeah, we need to get. <laughs> We need to get that uh, experience share, so let's go ahead and take that and give it to Hadouken because Hadouken, even though like you know it, it's a Dragon type Pokemon, it's still a pseudo legendary Pokemon, and it's one of the toughest ones to actually train up. And we really, really need to train them up. So let's go ahead and give the Quick Claw to Vesuvius because I have a feeling that you know things are gonna hit the fan once we get to the battle right here. So let's go right ahead. And finish this off and wow seriously I'm all over the place now another thing too is that you can't just go to the gym just like that there is something blocking the way once you go to route 123 you can actually get yourself a, a, a uh, what would you what you would call it uh, Devon scope this right here will enable you to see any kind of invisible Pokemon running around and luckily for us this Kecleon will not battle us so that's cool so let's see, Fortree City Gym, Leader Winona, the bird user taking flight into the world. Alrighty, let's go. So let's see, the only man that's ever believed in us, he's gonna be like, yo! How's it going, Champion Bound Draven? Fortree Gym Leader Winona is a master of flying type Pokemon. She's waiting at the back of this gym behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for new challengers who are trying to make the wing. Okay, go for it. All right, let's go for it. And wow, okay, so I literally thought we were gonna we're supposed to go up top and, well, let's see. You know what, uh, let's see. We're gonna start off with Raiden, because this is the reason to why we got him in the first place, because he's a bit badass. And, well, bring it on. When Winona takes the battle for her face, uh, her face shines with a beautiful determination. I'm not 
letting you witness that lovely sight. Wow. Someone has a crush on the gym leader. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Bird Keeper Humberto. And he's going to be coming out with a level 30 Skarmory. Now, here's a big thing about, you know, Steel-type Pokemon in general. How are they not weak against Electric-type Pokemon if, like, in real life, Steel... You know, steel, it conducts electricity, you know, burns roast and all that stuff, so th wouldn't this be, like, quadruple damage? I don't know, you're dropping the ball there, Nintendo. And, well, let's see. I'm gonna go right here. That can't do anything. So, we're gonna have a double battle. Let's go right ahead and switch it out to, not Sage, because that is gonna be bad. Let's go with Vesuvius and battle both these trainers. Behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. Okay. Why don't you tell me personally? You can't beat me easily. Are you sure? Are you positive? I don't think so. I really don't. So here we go, taking on Bird Keeper Jared, and well, let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. One has a Doe Duo, the other one has a Swablu. So let's go right ahead and use a Shockwave onto this guy and a Rock Slide on both these people. So there we go, Rock Slide, or no, Shockwave for the win. And that right there takes out du Do Duo. That was easy. That was too easy. And well, Hadouken is boosting up his levels just a little bit. Here comes Skarmory. And obviously, this Rock Slide is not going to work too well on Skarmory, I think. Yes, it's not. Because it is a tank. And well, Swablu has been, uh, has been spared just a little bit right here. And here comes that Fury Attack. Oh, crud. Oh god, okay, so three times. Let's go right ahead and go with a Thunderbolt to this guy and a Rock Slide again. So here we go, Thunderbolt for the win. And just like that, say goodbye to Skarmory. And yes, I did capture myself a Skarmory off screen, both here and in Pokemon Fire Red. And well, we got quite a few more Pokemon to go. And as you guys can see, Tropius, it does count as a flying type Pokemon. And can it learn. Uh, can it learn fly? Yes, yes it can. I tried it, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, the wings on its back. It actually, like, it looks like a helicopter and all that stuff. All right, so let's continue our little onslaught right here. Let's go with a Thunderbolt and a Rock Slide on both these guys. So here we go, Thunderbolt. Here it is. And there you go, Swablu has been defeated. Okay, so here we go, Raiden gets to level 38. Vesuvius and everybody else getting some points, and well, here comes another Swablu. Like, I, I guess you don't want to evolve your Pokemon, so here we go. Rock Slide for the win again. Tropius defeated. Okay, and uh, well, try oh, Swablu surviving. It's a survivor. And well, let's see. Let's go Shockwave. Let's not waste those Thunderbolts just a little bit, or yeah, let's not waste those Thunderbolts. And well, here comes another Rock Slide. And it's a critical one. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, Hadouken has grown to level 36. This is good because, well, shoot. <laughs> it is a very, very hard Pokemon to actually train up. Alrighty. So, let's move on ahead right here. And go right here. Right here. Right here right here and right here look at that and we're doing the same thing there's no need for Winona our gym leader to deal with you plenty good enough for you but wait the lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym as a member of the four tree gym I am I'm not allowed to lose oh yeah so if you lose death I don't even know so here we go double battle Eduardo and Flint coming out with their bird Pokemon right here let's see Let's go with uh, these guys yet again. Alrighty, Thunderbolt to this powerful guy and Rock Slide on both these guys. So here we go, Thunderbolt. And just like that, bam. Holy crud. Okay, alrighty. And well, here we go. He's gonna be coming out with a Zatu right here. Now just be careful, it is still a Psychic type Pokemon, so yeah. But here comes Rock Slide. And, well, Zatu takes a good hit. Here comes Doduo, and yes, faint. Fainted. Okay, alrighty. 
And well, let's see. We got one Pokemon each on the on both sides. And that's not good. Shockwave for the win. And Rock Slide yet again. Alrighty. So here we go. Shockwave does its trick. And there goes Pelipper. And Vesuvius and everybody else is getting some points. And really? Heck? That's all you can do? Holy crud. Okay, so here we go. Rock Slide for the win. And there you go. Zatu has been defeated. And well, Hadouken getting some points. Eduardo and everybody else just... <laughs> Yeah, they, 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 they're not too happy right now. So let's go right ahead and continue this whole thing. So we're going to push this up right here. Actually, <laughs> it requires us to battle this guy. Wow. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. Lexi, what are you all about? His name is Darius. He does have himself a Tropius. So, let's see. If it's a Grass-type Pokemon, let's see what, what Shockwave does to this Grass-type slash Flying-type Pokemon. So here we go. And it nullifies the attack, so I gotta switch out the Pokemon right here. And there's a Razor Leaf attack. Holy crud, that's a critical hit, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Vesuvius. Okay. Alright, what's up? Big old volcano Pokemon, and here comes a Razor Leaf attack yet again. Here comes the Ember attack. And, well, there we go. Oh my god. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and do another one. Ember attack for the win. And just like that, we have defeated another trainer, and... <laughs> Darius is not too happy with this. He just, you know, he's complimenting us and all that crud. So, let's see. Let's go right here. Let's go right there. Press this. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have to go all the way around again. So, let's not do that. Press this right here. And would you look at that. We are in front of Winona. So, before we do anything, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Because that would probably be the smartest thing to do. So, let's go with the uh, Super Potion right here. To Vesuvius and Raiden. Okay. I have the tiger. This is it. Here is Winona, the flying type gym leader. And she's like, I am Winona. I am the leader of the Fortree uh, Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However, grueling battle. Uh, however, the grueling battle we have triumphed uh, with grace. Witness the elegant, uh, the elegant uh, choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Okay. So here we go, guys, taking on our sixth gym leader, Winona. Five Pokemon. Don't let her. Uh, don't don't let, don't let the looks of the Pokemon fool you. Yeah, she does have a good team. Each one of these members uh, have a different kind of ability and all. And of course, you know, Swablu is the type of Pokemon that kind of just uh, just very deceptive and all that stuff. So as you guys can see, she's gonna be going, she's gonna be coming out with an Altaria right here. So I'm gonna stay with Raiden because Altaria, as you guys already know, is a Dragon type Pokemon. So we gotta get the move on it, getting a Thunder Wave attack right here. And well, one of the biggest things, guys, is it does like to use Dragon Dance. This is a bad thing because it will increase its attack and speed. So what we gotta do is literally get the, the move on this Pokemon right here. So we're gonna go with Hadouken and here comes another Dragon Dance. Holy crud. So we can only hope for you know a Paralysis right here so let's go straight for a Dragon Claw and that right there takes half its HP. Here comes another Dragon Dance so we are yeah we are entering some territory right here that we don't want to be messing with. So Let's see what Altaria does. And it's Orenberry heals it up. So let's go with a Dragon Claw. And hopefully that paralysis sticks. And wow. Okay, so yes, it cannot move. Let's go with the Dragon Claw right here. Here comes a Hyper Potion. So she's really making us work for it. All right, here we go. Dragon Claw. And that right there takes half its HP. And let's go with one more. That is the positive thing about pra paralyzing this Pokemon is that, you know, we do get the jump on it. And here comes another Dragon Dance. 
He could have eliminated us right there and then, guys, but yeah, that's not the case anymore. So here we go. And it is officially faster than us, so it's got five dragon dances. And that right there could have eliminated my whole team. But because it's paralyzed, bam. There goes its strongest Pokemon, and we get some points right here. Hadouken. That's right. Okay, so here she's going to be coming out with a Trompia, so let's go. Easy living right here. Going with Vesuvius. And, well, yeah, Trompius, you don't scare me no more. All right, Rock Slide for the win. Hopefully it flinches the Pokemon, too. That would be nice. And, wow, look at that. Super effective. And here comes a Solar Beam attack. Holy crud. Okay, Ember attack. There we go. Look at that. That's how you do it. Yeah, even before she could even get an attack right here, I'm still kicking her butt, taking her name, and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead, switch it out to Raiden, the man, the myth, the legend, the hero of the last walkthrough right here. So, here we go, Raiden, how's it going? And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a Thunderbolt attack right here. And, well, Pelipper, using its Protect. Remember, the more it uses Pel or the more it uses its Protect, the less accurate it will be, so just... You know, if it continues doing that, then, you know, just keep an eye out for that, guys. And, well, here we go. There it is. Pelipper has been defeated. And, well, Winona has one Pokemon left, and that is Skarmory. And I'm just going to go with uh, our good old buddy Raiden right here. So, here she is, coming out with Skarmory. And, well, a Thunderbolt. Here we go. And, look at that. That should have been quad damage, but, you know, we, we all know how that works. And, well, look at that, guys. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present you this badge. Oh, yeah. She's got some elegant uh, say-so. Throwing at that peace sign, guys. We get ourselves the feather badge. Nice. Okay, so with the feather badge, all Pokemon up to level 70... Even those uh, received through trades will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the HM move fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. And just like that, we get ourselves the TM40, which right here is Aerial Ace. It's speed. No Pokemon or no Pokemon should be able to avoid it. Dot, dot, dot. And we get our phone number because, yes, we are, <clears throat> we are fantastic uh, looking at all that stuff. Though I fell to you, I will remain devoted to bird Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty, so yeah, we're feeling a little heavy, guys. We don't like the champs that we are. I think we did a pretty good job with what we were doing. And, uh, well, cannot wait till uh, next week. And, well, yes, I do not. Oh, wow. Huh, you're straight. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have uh, a fan in me. I'll be cheering you from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. Hmm. Yeah, even though you kind of made fun of us when we first met. Hmm. Anywho, can't wait till next week, guys, because, well, next week's going to get a little bit more interesting, especially that we're going to be going up against Team Aqua and Team Magma. And uh, you do not want to miss that. And I and hopefully, you know, that inches us a little closer to maybe trading some Pokemon from, uh, from Pokemon Emerald all the way to Pokemon uh, Fire Red and back and forth and all that stuff. So... Yeah, we got a lot of stuff uh, ready for next week. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being, again for being patient and, uh, and always. Uh, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.